Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to create a public folder in Google Drive. So let's get started. So first, let's head over to My Drive. So first, we're going to create a new folder. So let's click on New at the top left, then click on New Folder. Now we're going to type in the name of our folder. And now let's go ahead and enter the folder. Then let's upload something. So let's go ahead and click on new and then file upload. I'm just going to upload one of my recordings here to use as an example. Alright, so let's close out of this for now. So before I show you how to make your folder public, let's head over to Shared With Me here. So in this section, this is where you'll be able to see all the files or folders that are shared with you by other people. So if someone has shared something with you on Google Drive but you haven't viewed it yet because obviously you didn't know about this section, then there you go. Anyway, let's go back to my drive now and let me show you how you can make your folder public. First, you want to click on the folder that you want to set as public. Now you're going to click on Manage Access. You can also get to this page by simply right-clicking on the folder, hover your mouse over to Share, then click on Share. Alright, so you want to click on the search bar right here to add people. So you can search for them and then you can click on them to add them. You can add as many people as you want by the way. Now on the right side over here, if you click on this drop-down menu, you can either set the people that you've added as a viewer, which they can just view the files and stuff, or a commenter, which they can add comments to your files, your folders, and an editor, they can add files to your folder, they can edit files, and they can delete them. Yeah, they can organize them pretty much. Now, if you uncheck this notify people option, then the people that you've granted access to this folder won't be notified that they have been granted access. So if you want to let them know, then just leave it as is. You can also type in a message for them if you want to notify them, because this is what will show up in their email. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and click on send. You can also click on this button on the left side to copy the link of the folder and send it to the person you want to grant access to, but we won't be needing that just yet. So let me close out of this now, and we can move on to the second method where you can actually share the folder with pretty much anyone. So as you can see down here, in the general access, it is set to restricted, which means only people with access can open with the link. So only the people that you've added will be able to access using the link. To change that, you can simply click on it and then set it to anyone with the link. So now anyone on the internet with this link can view. Now on the right side over here, you can change their permission. You can either set them as a viewer, commenter, or editor. Now you can go ahead and click on copy link right here, and then you can go ahead and send this link to your friends on other social media platforms like Facebook or WhatsApp, and they will be able to view the folder even if they are not added to people with access. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider dropping a like 
and subscribing to the channel.